If you're the same as me, then you're also struggling with the yes. latest life. Why should I learn secrets? What is so important about this anyway? It's not like I will ever use this in the real life. You probably should not love this. Let's imagine that you have a job. And your job pays 15 pesos on the first day, 30 pesos on the second day, 60 pesos on the third day, and so on. If your daily wage keeps doubling, what will your total income be for the working 10 days now? You may start to think that this problem is a difficult one, but don't be fooled because the answer to our little problem is a simple sequence. Sounds familiar? It should! As a grade 10 student, the first lesson we encounter in mathematics is sequence. In the book, a sequence is defined as a set of numbers that follows a certain rule. Or simply, a string of objects, like numbers, that follows a pattern. We can say that a string of squares, circles, and triangles is a sequence because it follows a pattern. Each object in a sequence is what we call a term. It is not hard to spot sequence. In fact, we can see some of the simplest sequences in the multiplication table, such as 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21. Do you see the pattern? We just add 3 to the previous number to get the next number. But that's too easy. Let's think of a more complicated one. 10, 8, 16, 14, 28, 26, and 52. What do you think? It's a bit harder, isn't it? But the pattern is just alternatingly subtracting 2 and multiplying 2 to get the next number. Let's now get back to the problem. We can now assume that the pattern of the sequence is multiplying the quantity to 2. To better differentiate the terms, we'll call it a sub n. Following the pattern we identified earlier, then our equation is a sub n equals 2 times the quantity of a sub n minus 1. Let's determine the a sub 4 to a sub 10 using our equation. together, the process is known as summation notation, but that is a lesson for another day. We get 15,345 pesos, and that is our income after working for 10 days. But enough with word problems. What's so important with sequence anyways? Sequence is important because it determines patterns which helps us make predictions and aids in decision making. Let's say you are in, an investor and buy stocks from the stock market. Did you know that the behavior of your company's stocks in the financial market follows a certain sequence? Or that you can predict how long it will take for your financial assets to double in a market value? With the help of number sequence and series formulas, you can perform quantitative analysis, financial and business analysis to help you in important business and investment decisions. End sequence is not only used in business, we encounter it in our everyday life too. When a car is speeding 10 km per hour, that means the car will form an arithmetic sequence because every hour will add 10 km. Sequence is also more common than you think, not just in life but also in nature. Ever heard of the famous Fibonacci sequence that makes use of recursive formula? 
a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2. The sequence goes like this. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on and so forth. It has been said that the famous sequence also appeared in nature. Isn't it fascinating? Sequence is far deeper than we originally thought. In this video, you have learned what a sequence is, how to solve it, some of its practical uses, and even how it appears in nature. We hope that you have learned a lot in our lesson. Until next time, bye!